Hey guys, I'm Sanji from SearchingEye.com and welcome to lecture number 5 in Machine Learning section. So this lecture is about exponential family distribution and those who are just interested in application of machine learning can skip this lecture. So here are some prerequisites. Uh, I assume that you already seen the first four lectures in machine learning section and basic probability and statistics as it was mentioned in lecture four. So this is the whole story. Till now we consider two kinds of distribution. First is Gaussian, which is normal distribution in the case of least squares and Bernoulli distribution in case of logistic regression. The distribution in case of Bernoulli was uh, probability of y given x parameterized by Parameterized by parameter w i was h h subscript w x i to the power y i times 1 minus h of x uh, h of x i to the power 1 minus y this was a Bernoulli distribution that is in general that is in general probability of y given x parameterized by phi is 1 uh, is phi to the power y i times 1 minus phi to the power 1 minus y this is known as a Bernoulli distribution I will show in the in the upcoming slides. So this was a case of Gaussian. Probability of y given xi parameterized by parameter w. Parameter vector w is 1 over root 2 pi sigma exponential negative y minus h of xi square over 2 sigma square. So where h where our hypothesis in least square was w transpose xi. This was a hypothesis that we wanted to learn, that we wanted our algorithm to learn, our, lear our learning algorithm to learn. And this was a case of Bernoulli distribution. Uh, probability of y given xi parameterized by w is h subscript w xi times y uh, to the power yi times 1 minus h of xi to the power 1 minus yi. This is known as the Bernoulli distribution. I replace this with a probability phi and you will get phi power y i times 1 minus y to power 1 minus y. This is known as a Bernoulli distribution. This is Gaussian and this is Bernoulli. This will lead to logistic regression and this will lead to least squares. Where our learning uh, hypothesis is sig uh, is a sigmoid function is equals to 1 over 1 plus e to negative of w transpose x i. So exponential family distribution. Uh, both of these distribution that is Gaussian and Bernoulli both belongs to exponential family and there are many other distributions that also belong to exponential family that we will consider later in the upcoming lectures and uh, in this lecture I generally tackle the case of uh, I generally tackle the case when uh, when your natural parameter in your exponential family is, is a scalar because in Gaussian and in Bernoulli it will come out to be scalar in general and I will show you when I discuss the case of softmax regression that these parameters turn out to be a vector quantity, not a scalar. So this is a natural parameter for our exponential family distribution. We assume there is a there exists a natural parameter eta. This parameter is assumed as a natural parameter for exponential family distribution. So this is a family. Probability of y parameterized by eta is uh, remove this uh, i from here. This probability of y parameterized by eta and as remove the y i, I subscript from here also superscript from here also so remove both these i's okay the just concept probability of y parameterized by eta is uh, is some function of y times some function of eta times exponential of eta transpose f of y i sorry f of y where f of y is a sufficient statistics. There is no sufficient statistics. So for Gaussian and Bernoulli, both eta and f of y are scalar. You this is uh, this is the case for this is when your y is scalar. It means uh, you can keep this i here. Uh, just uh, put an i here also. And this is just a uh, uh, this is suppose you pick an example that is uh, your training set. Just consider uh, cons just consider an example from your training set that is y comma x i. So if you find if you want to represent it in a exponent like uh, we represented for least square in, a, in in terms of Gaussian distribution 
we represented for say uh, for logistic regression in terms of Bonner distribution likewise for a general case you can represent it by a exponential family distribution so you can either put a y uh, i here or not it doesn't make any difference because this is a distribution of single example okay you put uh, you take out single example you take out single instance and this corresponding target y comma x this is a distribution so i think this is now understood that uh, by y i mean a single training example okay so either put a y i or y both the same thing okay uh, just now i dictated what it uh, what, what does it mean so you can correct it yourself for gaussian bernoulli both eta and f of y a scalar but for some regression uh, these are vectors as i already told for softmax regression this uh, these these things will come out to be vector quantity both f of y a and eta softmax regression will come in lecture number 8 or 9 i guess so this is sufficient statistics uh, here you here, here g of eta uh, is a function of uh, is g of eta is some function of eta you can assume this is a normalizing coefficient okay what does this mean you take the integral of this thing you take the integral with respect to y and this uh, in case of continuous y and you take uh, summation over all y in case of in case of your discrete training example like uh, we considered okay you sum over each i y you sum over each i and you will get output one so this g uh, g of eta can be considered as a multiplying is a multiplying coefficient or multiplying factor so that this integral and this summation comes out to be one if you uh, suppose if you are given e, uh, if you are given eta you are given f of y and you are given b, uh, b of y and someone asks you please calculate me this g of eta so what you can do you can evaluate the integral if it's possible if it's feasible and uh, summation in case of discrete values make it equal to one okay then you will get your function g of eta so this is what here this is not uh, for sufficient statistics okay this is uh, this, this is in general this is not for sufficient statistics this is for general case for any uh, sufficient statistics we'll start from here okay so this is a g of eta can be interpreted as normalizing coefficient that is it ensures that the distribution is normalized like it will take the integral with respect to y and this will come out to be 1 and likewise in case of discrete values your, your summation will come out to be 1 so if anyone asks you calculate for me the g of eta given all these things you can calculate it easily okay I will show this thing for just for now just assume that f of y and eta are both scalar quantities for Gaussian and Bernoulli distribution I can prove this in either way okay I can prove this taking the consider uh, taking the case of vectors I can prove this uh, taking the case of scalar but for you to understand I am already assuming because I because I already know the result what what the result would be okay so to make you understand more easily I am taking the case of a scalar value I already know this f of y will come out to be a scalar quantity eta will come out to be a scalar quantity but you don't know at this day so to make things sim uh, to make things simpler I am already assuming that these are scalar quantities okay and later I will show you this f of y i will come out to y for Gaussian and Bernoulli I can prove this in either way uh, taking uh, either gradient or mm, likely uh, differential so as I already told, eta is scalar. So eta transpose times f y is just eta f y. You either remove this transpose sign or you can take this transpose sign. It doesn't make any difference because scalar transpose is just a scalar quantity. Okay. So eta transpose f y same as eta f y. So you take the derivative with respect to eta, partial derivative with respect to eta of this whole function, and you will get this. Just apply the chain rule for differentiation. You will get this g dash eta times integral b of y exponential eta transpose f y times dy plus g of uh, plus g eta times b y exponential eta transpose f 